everybody. How's everyone doing? Yeah, just wanted to share with you guys something that happened uh, yesterday. A big deal of a change. So, as many of you might know, we've been running our lives on wrong dates, on wrong calendars. Um, the Gregorian calendar, which is something that has been put in place with a certain rhythm, with certain dates, with certain festivities that were kind of out of place, out of resonance, and with a distorted narrative. Yesterday, what I was seeing is that we shifted into our original calendar, the Julian calendar, but also connected with the Mayan calendar. So that's what I was seeing yesterday and last night. And in my dream last night, I was shown a, um, a representation of our earth reality. Isn't it beautiful over here? So beautiful. So I was shown um, a, a depiction of our reality as a chess game. So imagine the earth as an earth plane. So as a, a, a sort of, an, a, of a, flat, um, a flat reality. But it's not really flat, but in my dream it was like a chess game, literally. So it was pretty flat and it was very big and all that was on that chess game so all the pieces that represented a distortion or um, wrong belief systems or constructs or people also that have been part of that uh, holding that that belief holding that resonance um, they had the opportunity to be really uh, shaken and have to mod modify themselves, have to upgrade themselves into a more balanced and a more in resonance, a more vibrant uh, being, belief system, emotions, everything, all the whole, the whole thing. Or they would... Uh, be so I was seeing that they were boots the kind of slipping out of the chess game and some of them they were getting kind of evaporated I don't want to say disintegrated because it sounds really harsh but they were kind of getting undone on the chess game they were just like getting their particles were getting thinner and thinner and thinner and poof they were gone so I was seeing this last night and then tomorrow is the end the like kind of the official end of the Mayan calendar so we've been so um, running our our timings on a, um, on the wrong calendar that that means that uh, for thousands of years we've been uh, kind of um, out of out of the the normal flow we, we we've got more less days more days depending on the month we've got more days so in the year it's like adding up to wrong dates and we have uh, less amount of months so it's really like really out of whack and uh, uh, entering so this is still in my dream entering into the the Mayan calendar and into the Julian calendar that were kind of meeting in the middle point so the beginning of the Julian calendar was yesterday and the beginning or the end of the Mayan calendar is tomorrow and we're in between and uh, we're being shown how to the need to adjust to a, um, a timing 
so that the calendars we really only need them because we we're always on schedules and on on dates and on on you know running our lives on on a, on a sort of a of a very structured system um, that we're now moving out of this structured system and we're going into a more natural uh, uh, if we can call it system but more of a flow um, system still feels like it's sort of locked in and and limited and, and structured in a way that it is imposing some unnatural ways so it's more of a flow and we're moving into a natural flow that is more connected to nature more part of all this nature the the natural rhythms the natural movements because with our structure that was so based on on uh, on an imposed um, system on an imposed um, function it has it has uh, created that we are not really in sync with nature we're out of sync and now we're moving into the natural sink again isn't that isn't that exciting isn't that amazing so this was my dream last night and I thought I had to share it with everybody uh, because I think it's very relevant uh, so last night was literally yesterday was literally the day that the Julian calendar got swapped into the Gregorian calendar so this is a, his a historical fact before it was Julius so from Julius Caesar from Julius's uh, calendar it was a calendar that was much more harmonious and it was swapped by by the, by the, the, the papal the Pope Gregorio uh, it was swapped to the Gregorian calendar with out of sync completely N nothing to do with what it it was Julius the Julian calendar was much more in sync was much more um, running allowing us to run uh, naturally with uh, with certain dates with certain festivities with certain rhythms uh, that were much more uh, natural in sync and we're, we're, we're allowing us to be in, in contact in, in uh, celebrating in a empowering way and uh, and tomorrow uh, so the tomorrow is um, the first the, the the last day of the of the Mayan calendar and the first day uh, out of the old Mayan calendar and uh, if you remember in 2012 which was um, said that it was the last day of the Mayan calendar but of course based on the running dates that we were on in reality it's tomorrow so how how far off are we you know with all what we've been running our lives with as the 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 festivities everything Christmas Easter uh, births uh, everything everything so that means that even our birth data, you know, I'm Gemini, am I? Really? <laughs> you know, everything changes. Everything becomes like, okay, uh, yeah, that was one reality. But now it's like we, we need to be able to, so it's not that we, 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 uh, we're not that anymore, we're, we're, we're still that, but we're, we need to find a way to kind of put it aside like to not condition our life to that to put it aside and to just go with our natural calls rhythms needs what is really in, in sync with us what is really uh, um, giving us more of a of a like um, a confirmation you know when we want to do something like today I had the idea to go swimming and it's been the third time now on this walk that I said okay I'm gonna go here and swim start undressing and I said no nope, not happening 
Okay, it's not happening. I really want to go in the water, but it's not happening. So I'm listening to that. It's not my mind that is controlling it. It's I'm listening to my body, how it responds. And my body's like kind of holding it back. So, okay, I'll hold it back. For some reason, it's happening. I might not know why. It's maybe not so important to know why. But I'm listening. I, I pay attention. And when we pay attention, we are moving with synchronicity in connection with our nature and the nature around and everybody else. So the more we do that, the more we are empowering everybody else to do that also because if you know we are a, we reverberate a lot of, um, of vibration, of energy, of resonance, of, of uh, like a resonant box, same thing. We're, we do the same. So we, we, we vibrate uh, out of us what we are vibrating in us. So we affect our surrounding by who we are. And if we do that individually in reconnecting with our natural rhythms and be much more coherent and much more, much more, um, you know, honoring ourselves, loving ourselves, listening to ourselves, uh, being more in, in, in the natural flow while we're affecting our surrounding. And in that way, we are participating in the change. We are being part of the change. And we're not waiting for the change to come and knock at, knock at our door and say, okay, I'm the change, now you can change. Nope, it's not happening this way. We need to become that change so we can, through our own expression and holding this vibration, we can um, be part of the change through us. And we change our energetic signature we change our DNA, we change our, our rhythms, our needs, the, our expression, and we become a very new and different being. So that's where we're going to. Okay, everybody, I wanted to share this with you, give you also this beautiful beautiful view. The wind has picked up. It was uh, not so windy this morning. And uh, I wish you a beautiful day. I hope this will be helpful in some way or another for you to also jump into this uh, change. And uh, yeah, let's make this happen. This is, there's no going back. It's only through the chess game some are going further ahead like they're they're they want to be part of this uh, new reality um, so it's like a, a chess game uh, a multi-dimensional chess game that we're moving into instead of the linear 2d and um, who's in who's uh, who wants to change themselves their reality their habits their needs and uh, be part of this okay okay everyone sending you much love exciting times enjoy and talk to you soon bye bye